guys welcome back to my channel for today's video i wanted to do something a bit different um it's actually a trader joe's haul which i'm very excited about because i'm canadian we don't have trader joe's so the closest one to me is like two hours away and yes i go to it just to go there um, but, but I think it's worth it because there's always some amazing finds. So this is more like a fall, like tail end pumpkin spice season haul. And I will show you why. Um, so I have my bag here and I'll just pull out the items. And I'm actually like very excited to film this video because then I can eat these things when I'm done. <laughs> Well, the first thing was actually already eaten by Josh. Um, it's these Trader Joe's Peruvian potato chips. We've gotten these before and they're delicious. So you can't tell anymore, but they're like purple and red and like those different color potato chips. But they're like um, almost like a kettle chip. Like they're crunchy and just very good. So these are something we get like every time we go to Trader Joe's. The next thing we got are these Trader Joe's pumpkin, no, peanut butter cartwheel cookies. They're peanut butter cookies filled with creamy peanut butter. If you can see here, like there's actual peanut butter in the cookie. These are delicious. I've already eaten some of them because I couldn't help myself <laughs> but yeah if you see these I would get them too I don't think they're seasonal because peanut butter is like something people eat all year round but yeah these these are delicious the next thing I got I've actually never tried this before it's the Trader Joe's cold brew coffee it's 100% Arabica coffee ready to drink smooth and bold I am excited for this. So yes, I do drink cold brew coffee all year round because I actually use it to top off my smoothies in the morning. Um, I have a smoothie every morning to bring to work and I do always put like one cup of unsweetened almond or coconut milk and then however much room I have left in the blender, I add cold brew coffee just to give myself like an extra boost of energy I guess but yeah I am excited to try this I hope it's good I like that it's bold because I like very strong coffee so yeah and this was the only one that wasn't like a cold brew concentrate so that's why I got this one because it's ready to drink if you've tried this before let me know how you like it and if there's like other kinds, I don't really remember if I saw something else, but yeah, this is the one I grabbed. This next thing is actually another repurchase and I was excited to see it there because I thought it was like a summer product, but it's the Trader Joe's Milk Chocolate Smashing S'mores with Graham Cracker and Marshmallow. So this is the packaging these are like little um chocolates but inside there's a graham cracker and a marshmallow hence the why it's called s'mores these are so good and i didn't really think i would like them it was josh's idea to get these first because i don't usually like chocolate like coated cookies for some reason i love cookies and i love chocolate but the two together is never something I'm very like, oh yes, I need that. So I didn't have like super high hopes for these, but they are so good. So if you see these, you should probably get some. Because I thought it, like I said, I thought it was like a summer like camping product, but they still had them when we just went in November. So, so I did get like one non-food item, which I usually do when I go to Trader Joe's. Last time I got the rose water facial toner. And this time I picked up the Trader Joe's Spa natural facial cleansing pads with tea tree oil. Looks like this. There's 50 pads in here and I think it was only like four something. 
Um, and if you guys have seen any of my other videos, I'm always complaining about how my favorite facial pads are, like, the price keeps going up and up and up. It's the, <laughs> uh, First Aid Beauty Radiance pads. I forget the full name, but anyway, they only have one kind. And they're like $42 Canadian. So if these are any good, I am happy about it. They are with tea tree oil, which normally for someone with dry skin, I don't know how well it's going to be because I actually use these quite often. But yeah, no, I haven't used this particular kind yet, but I'm excited to try it. I'm finishing up my Sephora ones, which I don't love. I find that the pad itself is, doesn't have enough product on it. So we'll see if I like these, but I actually, um, I'm pretty sure Amy Lynn Sattler, she's a YouTuber that I watch. She always does like Trader Joe's hauls and like clean with me's and really fun videos. And I think she just mentioned these in her last video. So they are probably good. The next thing I got, I of course had to get this. It's the Pumpkin Jojo's. So these are like Trader Joe's version of Oreos from what it seems. These are pumpkin sandwich cookies with pumpkin cream filling in every bite. And they just sound delicious. I love pumpkin flavors. I love anything pumpkin spice pretty much. So I am excited about these. And then I picked these up like kind of impulsely. <laughs> because we were at the cash and I was like, oh no, I didn't look at the chocolate bar section. And then I saw these, it's the Trader Joe's Milk and Dark Chocolate Sea Salt Caramel Popcorn. I thought that was so interesting. So this is like caramel popcorn, but in chocolate. I've never seen that before. So I'm very excited. And I love milk and dark chocolate and I love salted caramel, so. <laughs> I'm pretty sure these are going to be delicious. Um, I haven't tried them yet, so I don't know for sure. But, yeah. I mean, how could it not be good? Is this the last thing? No. I have two other things, but they're in the fridge. So this is the last thing I have with me here. This is the Trader Joe's. Listen to this. Turkey stuffing and seasoned kettle chips. What? Who thought of this? So I actually don't eat turkey, um, but I'm really excited about this. I assume they don't actually taste like turkey, like they're going to taste more like stuffing. Um, and it says all the flavors of Thanksgiving in each potato chip, which like, I don't know. I also heard from Amy Lynn Sattler that um, these are delicious. So. <laughs> I am excited to try these. What's the seasoning? Okay, onion powder, molasses, black pepper. Okay. Oh, sage and thyme, yeah. That's why they're gonna taste like stuffing. Um, I'm pretty sure that's how most people make their stuffing. So yeah, I'm probably gonna open this bag as soon as I'm done this video. Should I open it now? We need to try them on camera. Oh my god, it smells like stuffing already. Yep, it tastes like stuffing. That's good. A good idea, whoever thought of this. Okay, so I got the two last things out of my fridge. I've already been eating this. It's the Trader Joe's Everything But The Bagel Greek Style Yogurt Dip. It looks like this. So if you guys don't know, um, one of like the most popular products at Trader Joe's is the Everything But The Bagel Seasoning. So it's like a seasoning jar, but with all like the spices and things that are on top of Everything Bagel, which is like my favorite um, bagel type. So. This is delicious. I was eating it with falafels and I've had it with like my breakfast, like scrambled eggs. Um, yeah, I mean, 
there's not much more to say about it. It's just delicious. And it's a Greek style yogurt with sesame seeds, sea salt, poppy seeds, garlic, and onion. It's so good. I was actually looking for the pumpkin cream cheese. Then I saw this. Oh, I got that. But I guess like it's too late in the season now because they didn't have any more of that. So that was kind of sad, but oh well. But I did find these. Trader Joe's pumpkin bagels. <laughs> Um, they're made with pumpkin flour and pumpkin pie spice bits. I'm so excited about these. I'm gonna have to freeze them because I'm not even supposed to be eating bagels on my meal plan. There's like way too many like carbs in them. Um, yeah, 51 carbs for one bagel. So it's more like a special occasion thing. So I'm gonna freeze like probably four of these and just have two in the fridge but yeah I will let you know how good these are probably be posting about all this stuff on my Instagram which is where I usually post like my meal plan stuff and all that so if you're not following me there um, I always have my other social media handles in the description box so yeah you can check me out on Instagram anyway that was my last product i think it was a pretty good haul um if you're not like a pumpkin spice person you probably hated most of this but um yeah i hope you did like it and if you did give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next video bye